Let's have a look at the new definitive set of coins of King Charles III. If you don't know what definitive means, it simply means for general use and typically of standard design and not special or commemorative. Just basic standard coins that hopefully are going to go in circulation soon. Let's have a look at the first one and that's going to be the penny, the one penny. And not the one pence, as I said on the BBC last night. Pence is plural. Come on, BBC, get your act together. It's a penny. This design is a hazel dormouse. And there's one there. Described by the Woodland Trust as sleepy, charming and undeniably cute. It needs trees to survive and is seriously endangered. It's confined predominantly to southern England and Wales with a few scattered populations in the Midlands and the Lake District. OK, what do I think of this design? Well, they've picked the smallest animal for the smallest coin. I'm wondering if it's a little bit too intricate. If you zoom right in, obviously you can see what these things are. The feet and the paws. Is it paws? Do mice have paws? Or do they have feet? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you can see what it is, but if you look at it at normal size, I think you're going to struggle to resolve that image might be a little bit too intricate for the size of the coin otherwise very nice design and next we have the two pence coin now I'm not going to give sizes or compositions or anything of these coins because they're exactly the same as current coins in circulation and there we've got a squirrel now I get lots of squirrels in my garden but none like this because this is a rare red squirrel and all the squirrels I get are the common grey ones I don't think I've even seen a red squirrel in um, in the wild at all all grey ones. That's quite cute as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. These designs were overseen by King Charles himself and they depict the flora and fauna in different parts of the UK and reflect his interest in conservation and nature. As for the red squirrel, around 75% are found in Scotland with the population in England thought to be as low as 29,500. Predators, disease, road and land use change all pose threats to the native red squirrel. It is cute though, isn't it? I've said that already, haven't I? So what do I think of this design? I think it's my favourite at the moment out of the designs. I'll probably change my mind in the future. I don't know who the designers are for this, this set of coins. It doesn't say there's no initials on any of them. But yeah, I quite like that one. My favourite at the moment. If it goes into circulation, there will be two British circulating coins with squirrels on them. Lovely. Actually, it could be three if there's a squirrel on this one. Um, nope. Next, we have the five pence coin. This is the smallest coin in circulation, but I think the acorns and the oak leaves on there show up better on this coin than the dormouse does on the slightly bigger penny. What do you think? And there is an English oak tree. Other varieties of oak tree are available. It appears on this coin, signifying its role as a rich habitat for biodiversity in woodland areas and an association with monarchy of the past. The Royal Oak. Great pub. What do I think of this one? Well, I do like this design, the acorns and the leaves there. And as I said, it is the smallest coin in circulation, but that fits really well. It looks really good. Oh, and while we're here, let's have a look at these three here. You've got the three C's for Charles, Charles one, two, three, and that just signifies Charles the third. But that is a very nice coin, very nice design. Now let's go up to the 10 pence coin and the bird depicted on there is called a capercaillie. There it is. Doesn't look very sociable, does it? I wouldn't want to fight it because I think it would definitely win. The world's largest grouse found in a small part of Scotland and threatened with extinction. Ah, probably not as aggressive as it looks then. Yep, another nice design. Not sure whether a capercaillie is a little bit too obscure to put on a coin. But there might be more people heard of it than I think. Uh, what are these plants down here? Anybody know what these are? Are they what the bird eats? No idea what they are. They look like uh, bluebells. Anybody know what they could be? And now we come to the 20 pence. A seven-sided coin first released in 1982 and in 2023 we've got a puffin on it. I don't think the puffin itself is an endangered species. It says here puffins are not endangered but they are included on the red list of UK birds of conservation concern after being listed as vulnerable 
on the IUCN Red List. The IUCN is the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Okay, what do I think of this one then? Well, it's another nice design. It is another great design, I think. When I heard there was going to be eight new definitive designs, I thought I'm going to hate about seven out of eight of them, but I don't. I really like them. I think they're great. This was going to be an improvement on the last 20 pence design, whatever it had on it, because the 20 pence coin for the last 15 years has featured a lion's backside. Do you think designer Matthew Dent won some kind of bet there? <laughs> Oi, Matthew. Yes, mate. I bet you can't design a coin with a lion's ass on it and get it into circulation. Right, I'll take that bet. I'll get onto it straight away. As I said, I do like all eight designs, but this one is going to be at the bottom of the list. It is a good design, but I just personally don't like pictures of fish. They're not cute, are they? And as other people have pointed out, it's very reminiscent of the Irish 10 pence from a few years ago. So why is this one included? Well, it's an Atlantic salmon and it's a threat from river pollution and habitat loss. I personally would have put a hedgehog on the coin. I know we've got a hedgehog already with Miss Tiggy Winkle, but we've got two squirrels, why not two hedgehogs? Because hedgehogs are definitely under threat. It's Mrs Tiggy Winkle, not Miss Tiggy Winkle. Oh yeah, I forgot she was married. Or if they wanted something aquatic, what about a water vole? They're definitely reducing in numbers. But a fish it is. Next we have the pound, the 12 sided one pound coin. And this one features bees. And it says wild solitary bees and bumblebees are in serious decline in the UK and globally. In the UK we have already lost around 13 species and another 35 are currently at risk. I didn't know there were so many species of bees. Let's have a closer look at this one. It's certainly very detailed. If it does come into circulation I don't know what the quality of that will look like but it certainly looks very good there. And you can see the security date round there, 2023. It looks bigger than it did on the other coins. It's probably not though, is it? Very nice design, that one. I think that's going to be up there with uh, one of my favourites from the eight new designs. Lovely. Now we come to the last one of the eight, the £2 coin. Now this one was a bit of a shocker to me because I was convinced they would retain Britannia as a definitive on this £2 coin. There she is. I was absolutely convinced that Britannia would carry on. But she's gone and she's been replaced by flowers, the national flowers of the UK. There's a rose for England, the thistle for Scotland, the daffodil for Wales and the shamrock for Northern Ireland. I do like this one. It's similar to the one pound coin design that had the national flowers on it, or still has, the current one. Yeah, sad to see Britannia go. Maybe we should have a new five pound circulating coin and that could feature Britannia. They'll all have the little privy mark, the little St Edward's crown at the back of Charles's head. That'll only be there if you buy the sets from the Royal Mint. It won't appear on the circulating coins. That's if any of them do circulate. No one's guaranteed it yet. Yeah. I am pleasantly surprised. A bit disappointed that Britannia's not there, but overall, I think they're all right. My favourite at the moment is a squirrel. Uh, my least favourite is the fish, but that could all change in the future. OK, let me know what you think of them. Do you hate them? Do you love them? What's your favourite? What's your least favourite? Put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button, that really helps. And I'll see you in the next video.